when you see yourself being awake from one, two, three, four, five, there is a reason why you are awake by that God forsaken hour. You are not just awake on your own. There are messages that God has bring to you. In most cases, you are awake by that time because there are people that you are meant to save. When you get the sign at this hour and wake up, what you need to do is to go to God in prayer and cancel every evil activities that are going on in the realm of spirit and in the physical world. There are two ways of being awake. One is being awake physically. Like as I'm sitting now, I am awake physically. If you are awake physically like this, you are meant to be eyewitness for the things that are happening in your surrounding. And also pray against the evil activities of the enemies that are going on at that hour. Then cancel every evil activities of the enemies that are going on around your vicinity. That is to show you that you are not an ordinary person. And that also is to show you that you are eyewitness for what is happening around your vicinity. That also is to show you the activities of the enemies in your surrounding. And that also is to tell you that you have an assignment, a mandate to save souls within your vicinity. Because at this hour, evil authors are operating. They are carrying out their enchantment. They are carrying out their activities. So when God wake you at this hour, you are awake for a purpose, a purpose to save a soul, a purpose to deliver a soul. You are a God saint to the people around that vicinity. The second way of being awake at this hour is being awake spiritually. You are sleeping on your bed, but in the realm of spirit, you are awake. You are bearing witness of what is happening in the realm of spirit. In most cases, you find yourself flying like an angel in the sky, monitoring the activities of the enemies monitoring the activities of the evil ones around that vicinity and in most cases you will find yourself delivering people saving souls saving people that are in bondage are under oppression of the enemy that the enemy are using as a specimen your mandate is to make sure that you save the souls that the enemies, demons, devils, witches, and wizards want to destroy. So at this hour, you will find yourself being awake, flying from one state to another, flying from one village to another, flying from one particular kingdom to another. And when you get there, you must save that soul. You cannot leave that place without saving the soul that you are sent there to save. Because no matter what they do, they can never defeat you because you are not the one doing it. You are just a God sent to that person to deliver that soul that they want to destroy. That is why you are awake at that God forsaken hour. So there are two ways you can be awake. You can be awake physically. It looks as someone just tap on you. You stand up. If you are spiritually alert, the instinct may be telling you what to do, direction to take, and it will lead you straight to where the activity is going on. But if you are not spiritually alert, you may think that I'm just awake because this time I'm awake. But if you are spiritually alert, your instinct, there is something that will be talking to you and will be directing your steps and you will find yourself knowing what is happening within your vicinity. So the one of you being awake physically is that you are going to bear a witness for the things that are happening within your compound where you are living. When you listen to your instinct, your instinct will direct you 
to where the activity is taking place in your compound. That is to tell you that the evil activities is happening right in your compound. But when you are awake spiritually, that you are dreaming, you see yourself flying in the dream from one place to another, you are eyewitness for the things that are happening within your surrounding and outside your surrounding. Wherever the activity is going on, the angels are going to take you there and show you there. And your duty at that moment is to save that soul that the enemies, the wishes, the wizard are tormenting at that place. And no matter how strong they are, no matter how many they are, God being with you, you will deliver the person. You will defeat all of them and you will deliver the person. That is why you find yourself being awake at this God forsaken hour. And uh, one more thing before I round up this video. If you are among those that notice, yes, you find out that you used to fly in the dream before, see saving souls. You find yourself in the dream flying, saving souls, delivering souls, you know, you know, stopping the activities of the enemies, but you no longer see yourself doing this. This is the cause of it. The cause of it that you no longer see yourself walking in the realm of spirit, flying in the realm of spirit and saving souls that you are meant to save. One most important thing that takes that gift away from you is sin. Sin of defiling yourself when you defy yourself continuously defiling yourself before you know it that gift will be taken away from you go and find out the things that defile a man not what you eat lying killing that is murder fornication adultery you may find yourself you know constantly going into fornication lying that spirit will be taken away from you because you always define yourself. Before you know it, you will see yourself. You no longer be flying in the realm of spirit. Even when you find yourself in danger, you want to fly. You cannot be able to fly again. At times you see yourself running circle, circle. You cannot be able to fly and play and, you know, use them for joke. This is because you have defied yourself. So if you want to gain back that gift because it's a gift you need to work hard to gain that gift back you need to dedicate yourself in prayer ask god continuously for god to forgive you anywhere you have sinned when you recover that gift make sure that you guide it with your life anything that will make you to you know to fall into any temptation that defiles a man please stay away from it Stay away from it. Yes, I know what I'm saying. I'm not joking. 